In today's Sluices video, join Dad and I as we climb over a ridgeline into a brand new unexplored valley we have never been to. Rumour has it there's gold here, and sure enough, soon after arriving, we started getting onto some targets. I hope you enjoy this epic adventure. So we're heading up to the mining site now. We have to cross this ridge line here to get over into the valley we want to mine. Dad's just climbing up now, it's one of the dodgier bits. It's probably only about 30, 40 metres up to the top of the ridge. There's just this teeny creek coming down that we're going to follow up. I got the pack on my back. There's a dog. Come on, Odin. Got to get up the wall to where Dad is. Ooh, almost fell then. It's dodgy. I best stop recording. We'll see you at the top. The right. I don't just follow me up. Look at that dicey. No pain, no gain, guys. You want to pass me the metal detector? Yeah. Oh, you've already got the pack, so might as well go this one too. <sighs> That's a problem, knocking stones down. You're going right up over that slip. That's the top of the ridge line where those trees are, so we've just got to get it down and over that into the next valley. It's a bit of a slip here, so looks like we can just go up around the side. We'll catch you once we're down in the next creek because this is going to get quite dodgy. Dylan's heading out there, not that keen on doing that, maybe. Maybe you take the road and lower it down to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not too bad. And the seed you go. Sometimes you gotta leave it crazy to find the goal. Look at him go. It's quite fit. Not as fit as Dad. Not bad. Okay. All right, I'm on my way up. So we've just dropped down into the main river we're trying to access. We just came up from from that ridge line down through there and we came down all the way down here. It was just over that jump there from that side creek. And now we're in the river. As you can see, it's a very small creek. There's not really any access from lower down because it sort of tunnels down through this terrace thing and it actually goes underground. So the only way we can get to it is by going over this terrace into the actual creek. But we come down here and not far in, right in here, I've just been detecting around, we have a target. Not screaming, but it's a nice wee, sharp, beautiful sound. So fingers crossed, it's a nice big piece of colour. Let's dig it out. It's good because it's great. So it's a small target. But up, look at that down. Bear with me. That's a good, good sign. Anyway. Moss for the exciting. Hello. <laughs> Alright. This is beautiful. I was getting a bit of luck. See that? Bedrock. It's gonna be in here somewhere. See, see that? In there somewhere. In there. Alright. I'm gonna check if I can have my metal detector. So 
Lost that. Not in here. Cool, so Dylan's just come back with a Jeep to see what I've yeah, done see, wrong. Dad dug it here, but the target, might, maybe my fault for not communicating, but he dug down in here, but the target's actually in here. Yeah, I couldn't pick it up on the other one, though. All right. Right, let's test if we can pick it, actually pick it up on the other one or not. See if Dad's detecting was bad or he's actually missing it. Oh, I probably wasn't even trying that, but to be fair. Yeah, yeah, I never tried there. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, nah, okay, all right. Yeah, still an obvious target on the gold monster too, so, I'm yep, just we'll proving how, like, how you can, uh, yeah, yeah. Miss how it, much you need to be careful. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, okay, shut up. Fine. Yeah, it's still in the hole, I reckon. Mm. Nice screamer in the pan. We'll pan that down. So yeah, that's the importance of every time you get a target, move some gravel, scan over, and it can let you pinpoint your target that much quicker. Oh, yep. There it yep. is. Hell Beautiful yeah. nugget. Nothing huge, but it's still a nice wee chunk of gold. It's quite flaky, which means... Let's have a look. It's quite, yeah, quite flaky, which means it's travelled from far upstream. So the gold here is obviously coming from further up. But that is a beautiful wee piece of gold. Yeah. We just had an apple. There's the apple core and the dog's hunting it. He's quite pleased with himself. That's his gold for the day. He loves his apple cores. So this spot here, the creek comes roaring over these boulders into this big pool. And there's nice bits of bedrock along the side, particularly up here. This is such a big eddy. And sure enough, there was a crevice running down it. And we went and detected it, and I think there's a bit of a target in there. A dab reckons it'd just be a really good crevice in general, just in there, to break out and suck out. So hopefully, we get some gold. Crevice out, and got down in there, and there is, indeed, a nice wee picker. Beautiful piece of gold, so it was worthwhile. No fine gold, though, except for that wee flake there. Awesome. We're actually having to call it quits. We've just got one last little section down here just by that pole we want to do. That's where we just got our targets because it takes three hours to get into here. It's already about midday. Sun sets at six this time of year. Um, we've spent, yeah, we've spent a while detecting. Got our gold, we know it's good, but it's got freezing. It's winter temperature and you know, my hands are red and like before I was shivering. We didn't really pack the right gear. I've just got a jersey. But we're just going to do this last section down where dad's heading. And then we're going to scramble back up through the bush over the ridge line and back out and hopefully get out before it gets too cold because it's just got really freezing um and unfortunately that's the reality of it we have got some targets some gold so there is gold here but we reckon it's definitely a mission to come back and stay in the tents catch you if we find any more targets or if not on the way out okay guys found another target i'm finding all the targets today it's a tiny one but well Somebody here somewhere. Here we go. Over here more, isn't it? Dad's got a nice gold target in the bedrock there. He found that himself, so he's gonna get that out. Hopefully we get a nugget. Yeah, you wanna Let's go. turn this one off and you scan uh, around the rest of this area. Oh. What do you reckon, Adam? What do you reckon? You reckon it'll be gold? 
Yeah, you think it's gold? Good, good. Really starting to get in there now. So this would be a great spot, you know, because this is bedrock. Gold catches in the bedrock during the floods. The creek's just like right there. Um, during the floods, the water will come warring over the side down in here and it's a perfectly eddy for a bit of gold to just get stuck down in that crack just off the edge of that ledge the gold will come more over drop and drop down and work its way to the bottom of the crack may not be gold but chances are very good you see the bits of bedrock we're breaking off and getting down we'll keep cleaning this out and show you once we get down to the bottom right i've got my piece of gold out that i found <laughs> well, it might not be gold but we've got a nice screamer, you guys can hear that? And I think I see it in the pan possibly. Is this it here? No, it's not. No, but we've got a nice loud screamer in the pan. We've got it in the river. Pan out. Yeah, how loud that is, so it could be a very good bit. We'll take we'll take it down to the river and we'll see if there's any gold in it. Might not be gold, there's nothing showing yet. What? I don't know though. Oh yeah, no, it's gold. There it is. Beautiful wee nugget, <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're on the gold. Of course it was. Dead yeah. found it, I never knocked. It's a nice, gold. it's not, not a huge piece, but you zoom in on that. It's a nice wee maybe 1.2 gram nugget. Beautiful, yes. We, did, we didn't even record this. Oh, we found. Really it would be very good. But right in, in here, below these rocks, there's a wee crevice there. We've got to faintly ping. And then I sucked and dropped, sucked, dropped with a sucker. Obviously sucked it out. And look at that. It's a monster nugget. Whoa, definitely coming back here. That's got to be a half gram, maybe a gram. That was worse, that hike over that, uh, that mountain is sort of ridge line. Yeah, it was, so there's definitely some bigger bits here. That's way bigger than the other bits we found. What a nice nugget. That's a really unique piece too, real slug-like. Once again, it's quite alluvial, so it's travelled far, but... I might show you that the key gets pub, maybe. Yeah. Beautiful, yes! Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Come> <laughs> So we just got that big nugget and we're heading back down to our exit point. We've got one little spot to test below the exit point and then it will be up the side of the valley down into the next one. Oh. Yeah, it's getting really chilly. So yeah, we best be quick. We're just up and out of the river and we're just gonna begin our ascent up the ridge line. So you follow along the side of it for a bit here. We found is best until you get to this nice spur. And then you go straight up the spur. As I said, it's only about 100 metres, but it's still really steep. So we do have to be very careful. But nevertheless, we're getting up there. And we'll see you once we're back in the main valley or back at the way up, depending. We just finally got back down the ridge line, just from the top there. We sort of scaled up the side, came back there, and back around. So, we're back out the main big river, back to our exit point, and back home. Before we weigh up the gold and show you the total weight for these nuggets, I would like to give a massive thank you to all of our channel Patreon supporters for all your support. You guys rock. If it weren't for all of you, we wouldn't be able to get over as often and make as many videos. So thanks so much. I'd also like to give a huge warm welcome to our newest four channel Patreon supporters. Welcome along, Mark. Thanks heaps for your support and hope you enjoy your perks. Your names are now in the drawer. Welcome, Graham Powell. Thanks heaps for joining. Hope you enjoy your perks on there and your name is now added into the drawer. Kiwi Wizzy Gold. Thanks heaps for your support, bro. And thanks for joining along. Kiwi Wizzy Gold also asked if I could shout out his new upcoming little YouTube channel, which will be up on the screen now, Kiwi Wizzy Gold. Make sure to search it up and give him a subscribe after this video. Thanks heaps. And Strange As, thanks heaps for your support. Really appreciate it. And Strange As, I know you're a bit of a silver stacker, so you've inspired me for what the giveaway for today's Patreon giveaway is going to be, which is a New Zealand silver fern. This is a one ounce of pure 99.9% .9 fine silver coin. Well, it's not a coin, it's actually technically a round, but it's made here in New Zealand, 
and is one ounce of pure silver. Silver prices went through the roof recently, so this is a great piece to display and a great investment. So we'll see who wins this beautiful piece of silver. We'll pan it up, give it a good, good shake. Oops. We have a winner, Kelly Ferguson. Congratulations, Kelly, you have just won this beautiful one ounce New Zealand silver fern coin. Give me your details and I'll get that sent to you as soon as possible. Thanks heaps everyone and on to the way up. Right, so we're back out of the valley. Here's the gold we got. So this is just stuff we got panning and testing and out of the crevices and everything at the start. We didn't really record any of it because we didn't think we were gonna get much. Some of this was in with the targets too, but that's probably 0.1 at most. And then we have our four beautiful wee nuggets we got out of that creek, which is an awesome wee hole. So we'll get this first one that was underwater. That's 0.11. Ooh, yeah. yeah. The next one, 0.2. That was the one that was up in that um, gravel that Dad dug out. This one, this is the one Dad found with the monster. 0.24. And finally, the big one. I reckon this might be a gram. 1.09. 1 I'm going to reckon 1.3. I'm going to go over the top. 1.8. That's huge. Oh, that is that awesome. Big. I knew that was big. Yeah, well, I guess closer at least. That's massive. I thought, yeah, maybe 0. 0.7 when I saw it. Not 1.8. That top actually... 20? No, yeah, no, no. Probably in a, that's in our top 10 biggest bits. That's it, huge. It looks like... I don't know. Well, they were definitely coming back to this creek then. Definitely. What it looks like? That's actually a... I couldn't name it. Almost two and a half gram day testing a new creek for only an hour. So that is awesome. What an awesome haul. Yes, that's great. We'll definitely be back here. We'll see you in the next video.